spooky season is almost upon us and to get us in the mood we have the new Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town USA palette. Look at how beautiful this outer packaging is. Wait till you see what's in it. Hey howdy hey y'all Leanna here. Nomad just released their newest palette Ghost Town USA. They do amazing destination palettes and this destination covers all of the ghost towns in the Midwest. There are quite a few of them all the way from California to I believe Wyoming. This palette was just released on August the 31st. I believe I was waiting for it to be released. After midnight I was already on my computer to hit that button. Pull the trigger and get this palette because I had to have it. Look at how beautiful the packaging is. It is absolutely stunning and it's holographic just amazing I absolutely love that let's see if we can get the camera to focus close up look at how amazing that is my ring light has got quite a shine on it it is absolutely beautiful one of the things that I love most about Nomad is they are very planet conscious when it comes to doing their packaging and their palettes the Shade Saver in their palette is biodegradable paper. It is not the traditional plastic that is going to end up in our landfill. This palette retails, I believe, for $49 on their website. I love it. Love it, love it. Any of you that were sad that you did not get the Haunted Europe, run, don't walk, <laughs> and go snatch up this palette. It is absolutely stunning just stunning this is such an amazing color story it is a beautiful beautiful palette from cool tones to warm tones i'm telling you this palette absolutely has it all and i haven't even started using it yet how beautiful is that it is just absolutely beautiful let me show you what the swatches look like on my arm. I already have my base face on. I have primed my eyes and set them. I am going to use my new Singe Beauty brushes, which I have not used at all. And we are going to do a look. I'm going to do the entire look this time. Recently, I've kind of been running through that. I'm going to do it from start to finish so that you can see how easy it is to complete a look with this palette. I don't know what I've already got. Something black all over my face. They sent a postcard with the palette, which they normally do. And this one had a pan for gold scratch off on it. Or you could possibly win $100. That was for the first so many customers. I don't remember that ordered. I did not win the $100. But I did get a coupon code for 15% off my next purchase. Which is quite exciting. And then it tells you a little bit on the back about the ghost towns in the USA. Most of them are barren mining towns. So of course right off the bat my eyes gravitated to the greens but I truly do believe that blues are my color so I am going to concentrate on these blues and I'm going to pick up that Skinner's Saloon with a big fluffy brush get my mirror right and I'm going to put that in my crease area so of course you know I had to go online and do a little research into the different ghost towns in the USA the especially the ones in the West because when I think about the West for whatever reason California <laughs> even though that's as far west as you can go. California just did not come into play for me. I don't know why. And I certainly don't think of California as having ghost towns. 
but the one of the ghost towns that they listed on the postcard was Calico. Calico is an Old West mining town that was inhabited from 1881. In its heyday, it had 15,000 inhabitants and 500 mines, producing more than 20 million in silver in a little over a decade. When you think about 20 million back in 1881, whoo, that was a lot of money. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. And true to Nomad formula, it is blending out beautifully. And this is the first time that I'm trying these brushes and they're really nice. I am impressed and saddened that it has taken me how many months to actually use the darn things. That's all right. Better late than never, right? So when I said I was going to go through the entire process, I think I'm going to go through the entire process of one eye. We would be here a long time for me to do both because, as you can see, I nitpick. <laughs> And I have to, I just have to blend, blend, blend. I like my shadows to be very well blended. And that is just blending out very, very nicely. Moving on to the next two shades. These shades in the pan look different. This one has more of a green hue to it and this one obviously is more blue but swatched on the hand they almost look the same there is a little bit of a difference which shade am I going to go with I think I am going to go with the darker shade on this EO2, the first brush that I used was an EO3. And I'm going to put that on my lid. And into my crease. So next up on the Ghost Town Trail is Bodie, California. Bodie, California was a booming mining town of 10,000 gold miners in the late 1800s. And it boasts one of the most well-preserved towns, including 200 buildings, saloons, and a bank vault. It's now a California State Historical Park. And rumor has it that Bodie is protected by a curse. And if you borrow something from the town, you will have bad luck until you return it. The town has a museum and ghost tours, if you dare. And I did see online where there were people who had taken some little small trinket and took it home and they had all kinds of weird things happen. And so there are letters to Bodie where they sent the item that they had taken back to the town. I wonder who they mailed that to, along with the letter apologizing for taking it in hopes that the curse would be lifted and all those strange and unusual things would stop happening. And now do I want to go into Quicksilver? Is that what that is? Or Ghost Train? Hmm. I might have to do both of those. I'm going to take this E01 and I'm going to go into Ghost Train which is this purple 
gold duochrome looking. Ooh, that's very soft and creamy. I feel like I got a little bit too much. Maybe not. And I'm going to put that. Hmm. in the center by that is not picking up like I thought it would let's pick it up on my finger and then we come to Bannock Bannock Montana. Bannock. <laughs> Y'all know I'm not good at pronouncing stuff. This 1800s Gold Rush era city had its share of murders, holdups, robberies, and more, and is even said to have had a sheriff that was an outlaw. But by the 1950s, the town dispersed and left it at ghost town. The town still has more than 50 original buildings, including the most haunted one, Hotel Mead, which was originally built as a courthouse in 1875, and now just checks in ghost. I'm going to try my refer O, refer 28, and pick that up because I'd like for that to be. Oh, yeah. That's better. Mm-hmm. This shadow is like a cream. That is a beautiful shade. And it came off very nicely off the brush. I'm going to clean my brush off and then I'm going to go into Quicksilver using that same brush and put that right in the inner part of my lid. That as well is like a cream and I'm just going to blend that up into ghost ray that's a very unique formula that blends out very nice just making sure that I blend those two together well. I really like the formula of those shadows. That is really nice. I want to take something and put it in my inner corner. I could use this smoky quartz here. I have my light turned down as low as it'll go and it still is blinding. don't know about tombstone. Tombstone or let's go into smoky quartz. Let's try that. I'm going to use that same brush. Now it's a little too dark. Let's go into tombstone which is that gold color. That's a little bit better, but still kind of dark for an inner corner, but that's all right. I'm going to pull it down onto my lower. That's not bad, though. I'm going to go back into that first brush. 
clean it off really well. And just make sure that this is blended. Alrighty, let me put on some mascara or lashes, one or the other, and I'll be right back. And just for fun, I decided to go with a very dark lip. This is the Lip Bar, and this is in the shade. It's in the shade Low Key. That's a great name. And now I'm going to take this sponge tip applicator. Make sure I have a clean side. So you can clean that off just in your color switch. Make sure that you have a cat whisker sticking in it. That's important to make it all meld right and make sure that you got a cat hair on your lip too. And we're going to go into one of these shades. Which one do I want to do? The purple or the silver? Let's do... Or do I want to do garnet? That garnet right there. Garnet Mountain. Oh, let's do the purple. Those are so soft and creamy. Look at how pretty that is. Because, you know, like I tell you, play with your makeup. Put a little silver on the outside. Alright, enough play. <laughs> that is my look my ghost town look ghost town usa we didn't go through all of the i have lipstick on my teeth we didn't go through all of the ghost towns in the west this is an amazing palette i love it those shades are very unique I like that. And true to Nomad's formula, they performed very well. I love it. Very wearable, I think. And I did put the Juvia's Place Blue Eyeliner in my lower waterline. And the lashes I have are Alexis. Did I get these from AOA? I may have gotten these from AOA, but love them. I highly recommend this palette. It is very, very nice, and it is uh, not a limited edition palette, so you might want to wait. You don't have to rush and get it. It's going to be there for a while, and there are lots of people that have codes for Nomad. I know that Dion has a code. I know um, Angelica has a code. There, there are lots of people that have codes that will save you like 10-15% off. So, highly recommend. I love it. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Before you go, make sure you show that like button some love. And as always, I'd like to remind you that makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are. And we are all beautiful at any age and any size. Find something to be grateful for today. Pull your makeup out and play with it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Christopher, do you believe in ghosts? Maybe we need to go ghost hunting. You know, Joe, who we work with, is a paranormal guy. Maybe he can take you ghost hunting. wonder what kind of mascara ghosts wear. Maybe you can ask them, okay? Mom loves you, boo.